Hello there! Well, this lesson video is to show you how to create your weaving loom. These are just the first few steps of making it. And what you're going to need is a plate. This is a Chinette paper plate. It's a little bit thicker. And you're going to need this one that is labeled tracer. And why it's a tracer is I've cut these slits a little bit wider um, so you can easily draw through them. So after that, you're going to take a marker or pencil and all you're going to do is trace these lines here. And right now they don't have to be neat. They might not even be complete, but that's okay. These are just marks that you're making so you know where you will be cutting the slots into your board. All right, so I've done all of them. There's 10 up top and two at the bottom. Now you're probably wondering what you're gonna be making. This is going to be part landscape, part weaving, and the weaving part is going to become a tree. So now that I have my marks indicated, I'm gonna go ahead and cut. Now I'm not gonna take time in this video to do that, but you can see you just cut up to this line here, okay? I already have one that I have already made all the cuts and you can see I've already done the next step that I'm gonna talk about is making your foreground, middle ground, and background areas. So you're gonna do that all in pencil and I have jumped ahead, I'm jumping ahead to some smaller versions that I did and I'm gonna set this aside and you're going to paint your background. Well, really your sky mostly. So you might want to paint just a daytime sky, which you can, and we're just using um, some tempera paint. You're gonna see that I've included some trees here, but those come after the paint is dry because I've used art sticks to put those in. And you can probably notice that I've included, um, I've outlined with a black permanent marker to help that all stand out. This one, I did a nighttime sky, and I, I did snow, but you can see that I've used blue. I probably should have gone back in here and made this a little bit more whiter, but um, I can still use that as well. This is a nighttime sky, and I just put some dots of white paint to indicate stars. And again, once my paint was dry, I went back in with some art stick and some permanent marker to make things stand out. Now the next example I'm going to show you is going a little bit ahead in the lesson and you can see my example does not have any color and it's not on the big um, paper plate that I originally showed you. This is just a small version so you have an understanding of what we're going to do next. This part is creating your tree loom. I'm going to go over this in a whole other video but I just wanted to share with you where we're going with this so you had a better understanding. All right, so everybody, you are going to prepare your board for weaving, but also for painting, okay? Our next step is painting. 